Hello! It's time to bring Olaf to the valley. We've got this pretty impressive storm going in the Frosted Heights. I've been enjoying just coming in here and looking at all the flurries. It's a very cool storm. Very windy. So some changes to the Frost of Heights have been this uh, speckles of water here, which I'm assuming is Olaf in hovering puddle form. Because as we know from the Frozen movies, water has memory. <laughs> and then also something... I wasn't expecting, well, I wasn't expecting Olaf to be, you know, like that. But also, there's some foot footsteps uh, leading into another cave, which I'm guessing is maybe related to Elsa's storyline of us not going, knowing what's going on uh, with the like mystical magical thing in her cave that we set her up in to live. Yeah, so it's very pretty up here. Sorry about the bit of lag. I'm not really sure what's going on, if it's my computer or if it's the game update. All right, so we have to go talk to Merlin about the magical blizzard in the Frosted Heights. So let's go do that. Oh, he's at the restaurant. Merlin's not at the restaurant too often. Although he's been going there a little more often lately. Oh yeah, I uh, updated my... Who's singing? I updated my plaza a bit with some of the uh, 100 year anniversary stuff. The statue in the middle and then the carpet. All right. Oh, we've got all, we've got a bunch of frozen people in here. Oh yeah, and they made the, oh, I thought he was in here. They made the uh, restaurant bigger. It's very, it's fancier now. And has some new artwork. And there's more big tables now. As if Remy, the rich little Remy needed a fancier restaurant. That rat's loaded. All right, maybe, let me check my map again, actually. Did he leave? Was he in the store? Oh, he's over here now. Merlin! Well, hello. Oh, let me uh, slightly move my camera. Uh, remember that the well is a source of great power. Use the magic it bestows upon you wisely. Okay, let's see. The, oh, we have a lot of prompts for him. The Great Blizzard. Mel, precisely who I was hoping to see. Confound it all! <laughs> I'm certain you've noticed the rather snowy problem we have on our hands. Eesh. There's a blizzard in the Frosted Heights, but it isn't mere meteorological happenstance. <laughs> There's dark magic afoot. Magical blizzard? Sounds like a job for Elsa. Oh yeah, we, we have Elsa in our valley now. She can handle it. Well, ordinarily, I'd say yes. I do mean to consult with her. <laughs> but there's something quite unnatural about this storm. I fear even Elsa's magic won't be able to quell it. What a, what a magical mess. What should we do? Let me guess. I'm the only one who can fix this? Thanks. I'll find some other... Oh. Okay, my camera's still low. Hold on. Thanks. I'll find some mittens and stay away from the blizzard. <laughs> Already on it. Oh, yeah. I have to... These are my... Uh, the... 
event wardrobe. Uh, let's say, what a magical mess, what should we do? Well now, you see... To set this right, we'll need to restore the pillar in the Frosted Heights. That should keep all the vexing dark magic at bay. How do I restore the pillar? I suppose I'll need to find the orb with the, like with the others. Precisely. But I'm afraid it's easier said than done. The orb has been missing from the Frosted Heights since shortly after the forge forgetting began. And it... Oh dear. It's been missing so long that I can't remember which virtue powered its magic. What could it have been? Punctuality? Tidiness? Not chewing with your mouth open? Mm, probably none of those, but let's go with the How funny one. Amusing. <laughs> Why, that's just basic manners and decency, Mel. Unless you're a dog, of course. Not exactly within their nature. Oh. oh. But whatever powered this pillar was something more elemental. That's the stuff! <laughs> whatever it was, I'm afraid you'll have trouble finding the orb. That blizzard means you won't be able to see an inch beyond your nose. Now, see here. I suggest you start by investigating the center of the mystical activity. You must search the blizzard for the source of its distur of the disturbance. Oh. And act quickly. The storm is growing larger. If we don't stop it soon, I fear it will swallow up the entire valley. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Mel, I suggest you dress for the weather. It's going to be downright frigid. Well, Already on it. Also, I got the little companion bunny in the suit and top hat. It's pretty cute. He's not as good as Munch, but I'll use him for a little while. Uh, I suppose we could just warp there. <laughs> oh, right. I have my well in a bad spot. We'll warp partway there. All right, well, my inclination is to go back to Water Olaf and look at him. Oh, guess I'll just pick this up real quick. Just money, always money. All right, to Water Olaf. Is he splashier? Is he more spread out and splashier? I don't know. Oh, it's nothing to do with Water Olaf. What? I thought that would be it. <gasps> Search around. Oh, it is. Okay. Inter oh, no, it was the cliff wall. Oh. <gasps> it's Atlantis all over again. Ooh, uh, can I enter that little crack? Oh my god! <laughs> what? Oh, poor Olaf! I thought he was the water puddle outside. What is happening in here? Olaf, where are you? Oh my god. Oh, good, you're here. Oh god, you need a nose stat. Oh, you found me. <gasps> Hooray! That means I'm it! Wow, my Olaf voice is terrible. Oh god, I need to listen to some Olaf videos. Hold on. It's a little copy, little baby unicorn. Whoa, hey. Oh, I love it even more. All right, let's start this thing over. Hi, everyone. I'm Olaf, and I like warm hugs. And you are... Okay. I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. Hooray! That means I'm it! <laughs> oh. <laughs> now it's your turn to hide. My advice? Choose a good spot. Anna says my finding abilities are epic. <laughs> Olaf? Uh-huh. Is this a game? What are you doing in here? Is What are you doing in here? <clears throat> I'm hiding from you, Mel. And you are... Come on, you know it. <clears throat> okay, I'll help you out. 
You're sinking me. <laughs> Do you need me to explain the rules again? Wait, you look taller than I remember. <laughs> I suppose the last time we saw each other was a long time ago, way back before the forgetting. Huh? Does that mean you're all grown up now? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I guess so, even if I don't feel like it. Grow up. Grow up is a state of mind. I'm I'm a kid at heart. Uh, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> oh. Well, I hope you're not too grown up to finish playing our game. Now it's <laughs> your turn to hide and my turn to seek. Ready? Let's hide and seek later. But first... What is this place? What happened to you? I need your help fixing a magical mess. What is this place? <gasps> you know, I'm not exactly sure. I think maybe it used to be your special room. My special room? My special room? What do you mean? Well, you came here when you wanted to be alone. <gasps> to get away from all the complexities of life and ponder the meaning of the universe. <laughs> that makes sense. We all need time to be alone. But I love being around people. I wish I could remember this. Uh, I wish I could remember this. Yeah! Don't worry. I have an excellent memory. I'll do the remembering for both of us. There's so much strange magic in here. I wonder where it all comes from. As do I. This truly is a chamber filled with mysteries. <laughs> what happened to you? Hmm. Well, well, I followed you in here one day. There was a bright flash of light. Mm -hmm. And then you were gone. And I've been here ever since. Mainly because I couldn't get out. <laughs> That's awful. A bright flash of light? You don't seem very bothered ab you don't seem very bothered about it. Uh you don't seem very bothered about it. <laughs> well, I did prove that it's a great hiding spot. Look how long it took you to find me. <laughs> and I've composed twelve epic novels in my head while I've been here. It's a series. I'll recite them to you later. <laughs> I need your help fixing a magical mess. There's a magical blizzard that's threatening the whole village. If we're going to stop it, we need to find the orb and restore the pillar. <gasps> oh, I very much want to help. But first, I'm in need of some assistance myself. Oh. You've probably noticed that I'm missing my nose. My buttons and my arms. <laughs> I thought you looked a little different. Wow, really? I hadn't noticed. I didn't want to make a big deal about it. <laughs> I thought you looked a little different. <laughs> Some might like the minimalistic look, but I'm much more fond of my full Olafness. I'll help you get all your parts back. I think when I came in, I saw some squirrels carrying them off. Mm. Oh, oh right, silly me. Those squirrels are my friends. <laughs> Did you know there are over 200 species of squirrels? <laughs> but the only, but the ones here don't look like the squirrels I've seen before. They're all mysterious and glowy. <laughs> Still, they like to play keep away with me, which is nice. Oops, it helps to pass the time. They take my buttons and nose, and I chase them around to get them back. Sounds fun. Are you sure this was just a game? Uh, sounds fun. It is. Yeah. Especially for the squirrels. Hmm. But this time, when you came in, the squirrels ran out right past you and my no with my nose and buttons. <sighs> I've only ever had to chase them around here before. Okay, I'll help you get them back. <laughs> Great, let's chase down some squirrels. See you soon. Okay, let's look around because this is a very in mm, interesting place. Ooh, chest with vines growing out of it. Bunch of jewels. A wardrobe with strange writing on the wall. A note. Another dark portal. Another one of those mystical water splash things that I thought was Puddle Olaf. I left something here. Something I need. I know it's here somewhere. I need it to tear down the wall. Oh. That was in our dark magic form. Oh, there's so many notes in here. Oh, wow, there's so many. Okay, uh, maybe I can't get to those. Oh, I can, okay. Uh, 
Oh. Oh, another. Okay. It's only when the lights are on that I realize my life is dark. In here, I'm safe. Okay. A lot of mystical, magical things. The spell. It went wrong. Need to find somewhere else. Somewhere quieter. Might need to rip out all the orbs to do this. Wow. I didn't think we did this with so much intention. <laughs> oh. Oh, hi! I didn't mean to talk to you, Elo. Well, I guess that's it. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Yeah, that, that was it, Olaf. It's not working. Nothing is working. It must be the pillar's magic stopping me. Hmm. Okay, well that's all the notes. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> Am I looking at Olaf? That's funny. In his freakish form. He is pretty freakish looking. Oh, there's another note. Oh. Oh, these are my like my plans on the wall. My scribbles or maybe something like that. Like I'm trying to figure out what gems to use to make the dark vines. What the heck? This a fifth, fifth note? I try to make friends with the villagers, but it's like there's a wall between us. Like something is broken inside of me. Okay, well this is now sounding like just a depressed person. <laughs> I have to tear out the orb to cast my spell. There's no other choice. Okay, I guess we're just gonna go into the portal now. It's definitely an interesting room. Oh, we can't. I thought we'd be able to go in. I was wrong. Uh, okay, let's go back to tracking Olaf's quest so that I know what I'm doing. Oh, search the blizzard for the scary squirrels. Okay. Hi, Olaf. Hi, it's me, Olaf. <laughs> See you soon. See you soon. So cute. All right. Are you coming out with me? Oh, no. He's just having me do it. Chase down the scary squirrels to get Olaf's button nose, buttons and nose back. All right, dark squirrels. <gasps> oh, there's one. Oh. Interesting. I guess that's a button. Foxes, help me catch squirrels. You're supposed to be good at that. Oh. Oh, I see. Well, hopefully they're all on this side because I can't technically cross over. Oh, yep. Come here, squirrel. There's the nose. Well, they weren't very hard to chase down for how cool they were. I Very interested in what those are going to be. I'm Olaf. Wait, what am I saying? You know that. <laughs> well, I guess that's it. Oh! Bye! I missed a squirrel! I guess I did only get two buttons. 
All right, last squirrel. There you are. Yoink. All right, now I have all of your things. <laughs> so you can look stop looking so freakish. Oh, so glad you made it. You got my nose and my buttons back. Thank you. I'll feel much more like myself now. Hey, did you know that squirrels use their tails to help them balance in high places? I did know that. That's so cool. I didn't know that. Fascinating. That doesn't really seem relevant right now. Uh, that's so cool. I agree. Squirrels are a source of almost infinite interesting facts. <laughs> mm. And now we have one to... What? And now we have one to add. They like to play keep away with carrots. Oh. oh. Are you ready, little nose? Let's put you back where you belong. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Oh, this is so much better. Mm -hmm. I'd give you a warm hug to say thank you, but I'm still missing my arms, so that would be difficult. <laughs> Where could those be? They've got to be here somewhere. Sigh. Okay, let okay, I'll go find two sticks. <laughs> Where could those be? Oh, I just remembered. It's not only my arms that are missing. They were holding something when I lost them. Oh. <laughs> Didn't you say we were looking for some kind of orb? Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, I was holding one when I got locked in here. Don't you just love coincidences? <laughs> so if we find your arms, we'll find the orb. Great, so just tell me where to find your arms. You couldn't have told me this a little sooner. <laughs> uh, we can work for us, so uh, we'll find the orb, woo! <laughs> Excellent detective reasoning, Mel. Oh God. Yay! Ooh, we can also deduce that if I don't know what happened to my arms, I don't know what happened to the orb. Yeah. Okay. Got it. You don't know what happened to your arms? Huh? As I said before, all I remember is that I walked in here and there was a flash of light. The next thing I knew, my arms were gone and so was the orb. I was locked inside. Ugh, if only there was some way to tell exactly what happened in here. But that was so long ago. Well, if you don't remember, and I don't remember, <coughs> maybe the water remember- Oh, okay, there it is. The water remembers? What do you mean? <sighs> oh, water has memory. It's disputed by many, but it's true. We'll just need to find a way to get it to share the memories with us. Hmm. Say what Elsa knows something about this? <gasps> Elsa, that's it. She's very good at helping water show us what it remembers. All right, I'll go talk to Elsa. Okay, well, they did do the water memory thing, but not the way that I thought they would. <laughs> So I guess we're just gonna get flashes of dark me. Where are you? Oh, I didn't realize I clicked on something. I was looking for Elsa. Last time I saw her. Oh, she was not there, but she is now. Oh no, I did see her at the, at the restaurant. The very beginning of the episode. Excuse me, Mickey. Hello. The Great Blizzard. <gasps> Mel, thank goodness you're here. I've been doing everything I can to stop the blizzard in the Frost Heights. Hmm. But nothing I do seems to work. Ask some sort of dark magic. Oh, dark dreamlight magic feeding it. I think I might have found the key to fixing it, but I do need your help. Of course. Oh. Anything. Just tell me what I should do. I went to the center of the blizzard and found a secret chamber full of strange mag magical experiments. And that's not all. I found Olaf inside. <gasps> Olaf. Oh. oh, what a relief. Anna and I have been so worried about him. Did, you, did he know anything about the blizzard? Yes, he's helping me. He knew a little, but we need to find out more. Not really. He got the... He got me to chase some squirrels around. Uh, he knew... Not really. <laughs> that does sound like Olaf. What did he tell you? Olaf's arms are missing. He says the last thing he remembers is that they were holding onto the orb. 
We need to restore... Oh. Oh. It's not supposed to have appeared there. That they were holding the orb. We need to restore the pillar. But he doesn't know where to find them. He said something about water having memory. That's it. Olaf can be a bit of a genius. But I'm not sure my powers will help. Whatever happened may not be tied closely enough to me. Oh. But you might be able to do it. In the past, your royal watering can could draw out the memories by water. Memories held by water. Hmm. Then maybe we could, we could find out exactly what happened to the orb. Do you think my watering can still has that power? I wouldn't know where to start. Hmm? My friend Grand Poppy. Who is Grand Poppy? Would say to start where things began. And that would be the pillar in the Frosted Heights. I'll keep trying to fend off this blizzard while you investigate. Ah. Just hold out your watering can and focus your magic near the pillar. Why, thank you. Okay. Who is Grand Poppy? What the fuck? I don't remember that from the movies. Uh, okay. Let's, uh, burr. All right, watering can at the pillar. Where do I have my pillar here? Where do I have my pillar here? Isn't it like over here? Oh my God, I don't remember where I keep my pillar over here. Oh, oh my God. I've looked at this so many times already this episode. <laughs> That's not embarrassing. Okay, use your watering can on the watering, on the sparkling water particles near the pillar. Oh, that's what the water particles are going to do. Okay, that's clever. That makes sense. Cool. Let's go use it on the other ones. Is that, is that enough? You want more water? Holy Jesus. Oh, talk to Elsa about what you saw. Okay. We're back. Hello. Huh. Hello, Mel. Did your watering can uncover anything? I saw the forgotten taking the orb from the pillar. Yes. Oh, well, I've spent a lot of time talking to Merlin about the magic in this valley. He told me that the pillars have protective charms on them to keep dark magic at bay. Maybe the Forgotten wanted to try using more dangerous kinds of magic, and the Pillar's protective aura was stopping that. Also, there's something else I need to tell you. The Forgotten, they're a part of me. Some kind of splinter of myself that I left behind. Hmm. I see. Well, I know that magic can do things like that. Olaf is part of me. And he's sweet and kind. But so is Marshmallow, a much larger snowman I created. He's... Let's just say he's very protective. Oh, she named him Marshmallow. <laughs> the guard. The giant guard snowman. So if the Forgotten wanted to mess with the, with dark magic, does that mean I did too? I would never mess with dark magic. It's the only thing that makes sense. It definitely sounds like something I would do. <laughs> it's the only thing that makes sense. Just because you, Just because you want to do something doesn't mean that you would ever do it. But this would mean that the blizzard, the forgetting, could this all be my fault? Hmm. What? No, Mel. This isn't your fault. Yeah. Trust me. When it, com when it comes to starting magical blizzards that threaten to swallow up everything and everyone I love, mm. 
I've got a little experience. Magic and emotions can make unintended things happen. The more you know about your magic, the more you'll be able to control it. <laughs> what matters now is that you're here trying to fix this. And I guess now we're, the, we're one step closer to doing that. In the memory, it looked like Olaf saw the forgetting run off with the orb, and he followed followed them to the secret chamber. Hmm. Then I think you'll find the rest of your answers inside. I'll go see if there are any more memories inside the secret chamber. Why, thank you. Okay, well, I was already doing that. I guess I'll go back. <laughs> At least you get to see my plaza a lot. It's very pretty. I like it. All right, let's get to watering. Let's wait for it to update that I'm in here so that I can water this puddle. Was this? This wasn't here before, right? Oh. Hi, it's me, Ola. <laughs> Mel, I have to know, are we any closer to solving the mystery of my missing arms? I think so. Elsa helped me use my watering can to bring out a memory near the pillar in the Frosted Heights. I saw the forgetting, forgotten, pulling the orb out of the pillar. <laughs> the forgotten? But it looked just like you. Yeah, the forgotten has my face. There's some sort of magical splinter of me. It's a long story, don't ask. There's some sort of magical splinter huh? in me. Oh, like I'm a part of Elsa? How fascinating. <laughs> I guess it's sort of like that. Well, I certainly thought the Forgotten was you when you were playing hide and seek. Oh. You'd be missing for a long time, but we were still in the middle of a game. <laughs> so I followed you, er, the Forgotten, so I could tag you and you'd finally come back to the village. Mm -hmm. And then I saw the Forgotten had dropped that shiny orb, so I picked it up and came here and gave it to and gave it back. <laughs> but then what happened? <clears throat> I don't remember. But you could use your watering can around here to find out. Well, I guess that's it. Bye. <laughs> oh gosh. <gasps> oh, it does have the hands attached. That's funny. One more. Oh, we threw it into the portal. Can I go in the portal now? No. Talk to Olaf. Okay. Oh, hi! Wow, did you see that? I must have interrupted the Forgotten while they were casting some sort of magical enchantment. Huh? And the orb made the magic go wild in here. <sighs> that must have been the flash I saw. So this chamber, it must be the Forgotten's, and it was the Forgotten who locked you inside here. That makes more sense. I'm so sorry that happened, Olaf. I hope you learned a lesson about barging into secret chambers. <laughs> I'm so sorry that happened. It's okay. I know you wouldn't have wanted it to happen. <laughs> After that, the Forgotten grabbed the orb off the floor and threw it into the portal over there. <laughs> With my arms still attached. Oh. oh, but the bright side. Now we know where the orb is. Someone with arms can just reach inside the portal and grab it. I'd volunteer to do it myself, but ahem, no arms. <laughs> that portal keeps flickering. Something's wrong with it. I don't think it's safe to reach inside. Uh. Hmm... hmm. Oh, maybe there's a way to fix it in one of these books. Mm -hmm. Since my arms are missing, I couldn't turn the pages to read them, but the titles are very interesting. Mm -hmm. They're all about magic, casting spells, making things float, how to open portals. <laughs> Did you just say how to open portals? Mm -hmm. How to open portals, yes! And we need to open a portal. <laughs> I guess I'll need to find that book. See you soon. You're silly, Ola. Oh, I... I think I found it already? I'm guessing it's the only sparkly book. Okay. Uh, 
Conjure your cares away. Oh, this is not it. A simple do-it-yourself guide to conjuring whatever you need. Oh. Whatever. Uh, oh, there's a lot of books. Okay. What is this one? The Beginner's Guide to Transfiguration. <laughs> We're now in Hogwarts. Helpful instructions on how to turn a prince into a frog or a pumpkin into a carriage. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. Books, books, books. White one. So you want to open a dark portal for dummies. No. <laughs> Must have been stolen from Merlin's library. The back reads, helpful troubleshooting tips. Caution, be careful not to rip apart the walls of reality. Okay. Uh, talk to Olaf. Okay. Hello. Oh, there's another book! Ah, uh, I'll pick it up after. You found a book? Is it the one we need? You have to read it to me since I can't turn the pages. Okay. It's called, So You Want to Open a Dark Portal. <laughs> How conveniently specific! It sounds... It, it sounds like it's exactly what we're looking for, Mel. Not a very imaginative title. <laughs> Titles can be hard. I went through at least three dozen for each of my novels. I've composed in my head while I've been here. <laughs> this book... This must be how the Forgotten learned to open all those portals in the first place. No wonder they've been popping up everywhere. <gasps> um, are you going to read? Hmm, according to this, we'll need something called a dreamlight prism to fix the portal. There's a bunch of broken glass on the floor over there. I bet the Forgotten tried to... I'll bet the Forgotten tried to... Tried this too. Maybe if you gather it... Maybe if you gather it up and replace the broken parts, we can get my arms back. Oh, and the orb. Can't forget about that. It says we'll need some glass and some purified night shards. But once I fix it, I'll need to find some way to channel all the colors of the rainbow through the prism. How do I do that? Well, there are some gems over there near the portal. But not all the colors. Some must be missing. Don't worry, Mel. I'm sure you can figure it out what to do. Finally, it says I need to whisper one of my darkest fears to the portal to seal a spell. I guess I should start thinking about what I'm afraid of. But for now, I'll start by making the Dreamlight Prism. Well, I guess oh. that's it. Bye! I'm gonna pick up this last book. Curses and Hexes 101. A handy guide to curses and hexes from simple and subtle to, tru to the truly twisted. Oh, nice. It's just gonna let me use the um, glass and purified night shards that I have at my house. I don't have to go get them. Okay, craft the dreamlight prism at a crafting station. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have one handy here, would you? No, you wouldn't. Mm, I guess I can go to handy dandy goofies. Oh, I guess we'll just go to my house since we have to warp anyways. Let's go over to my house. Uh, crafting. I've since upgraded to the bigger storage chests. So I got rid of my little middle uh, row of containers. Kind of annoying that I had to craft entirely new chests. Dreamlight prism. Do I only need to make the one? I guess so. Place the dreamlight prism at the pedestal in the secret chamber. All right, on to the pedestal. Pretty. Is it? Figure out which gems are missing in the secret chamber and replace them. Uh, how do I do that? There's a hole just big enough for a gem. Do I have to? Attempt all the gems? Are you gonna give me some? Do I have to bring gems? Ugh, I don't want to do that. 
that. So... Yeah, I guess it's just gonna be trial and error. I don't know how else to solve it. Oh, is it rainbow? It might be rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet? Is that it? There's, he said something about a rainbow, so let's try that. Didn't he? I thought he did. Ugh, so much traveling always. Eh, forget about it. Okay, let's do... I don't know. I doubt it would be that green. Let's hope it's not that green. Oh, you know what? Am I supposed to take shiny ones or not shiny ones? Probably not, right? Oh no, I don't need a red. Uh, I need an orange though. Orange, green, blue, purple. Okay, I think that should be it. We're gonna say that's it, so I don't have to carry a bunch of gems with me. Alrighty. Alright, let's try the orange gem here. The green gem here. Oops. No! Okay, maybe it's the opposite. No! Oh, do you want an emerald? Purple? Yes! Okay, so it wanted an emerald. I guess the emerald is a deeper green. Gosh dang it. That's what I get for not carrying more gems on me. Uh, uh, this will just be faster to just go get one for my house. Put back the, what is this? A light, see a light green. It's light green, it's fine. A deep green. I feel like light green goes better in the rainbow than a deep green, personally. Emerald, you picky thing, here you go. All right, you coming, Olaf? To get this portal to st stay stable, I'll need to tell it one of my deepest fears. Spiders, clowns, being alone. Hmm. Uh, I guess we'll do the ones. All of them. We'll do being alone, even though that's really personal. <laughs> um, just the thought of being a just the thought of being apart from everyone and everything I love. It's terrifying. God game, throw me off. Jesus. Okay. Uh, hey, something's happening to the portal. I think the magic is starting to work. That's an interesting orb. <laughs> the 
orb seems to be broken, but at least you found Olaf's arms. Give Olaf his arms back. Olaf arms and an orb. <laughs> you don't want to pull off the arms first? Hi, it's me, Olaf. You found them. You found my arms. Come here, little arms. Let me put you on. <laughs> Yay! Oh, look at you. You're all fixed. Oh, that's much better. I feel so sticky. <laughs> get it? Because my arms are sticks. <laughs> that's hilarious. I don't get it. You should arm yourself with better jokes. Oh, let's do that one. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> I thought he would appreciate that I gave him a joke back. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry. You're right. I haven't had anyone to practice my jokes on since I've been stuck in here. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Oh, wait. Hey, wait. Arm myself. <laughs> that's brilliant. Okay, that's what I was expecting. That's brilliant. I'll definitely have to use that. <laughs> well, I didn't just find your arms. I also found the orb. There's only one problem. It seems to be broken. <laughs> no. What's wrong with it? The light inside has gone out. The magic is just gone. I don't think it's going to be enough to fix the pillar and stop the blizzard. <sighs> oh. I'm sorry, Mel. I wish I knew how to fix it. I can fix this. I have to fix it. There must be a way. It's hopeless. We're doomed. There must be a way. I just have to figure out the mystery. Maybe there's a book in Merlin's library or another memory somewhere. Or, or... Ahem. <coughs> <coughs> I may not know how to fix the orb, but I do know one thing that I can make that can make everything better. <laughs> a warm hug. Oh. <laughs> and now I have my arms again. I can give you one. <coughs> oh. 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 <gasps> oh, is this going to fix the orb? That's funny. Love. Is it love? Is it warm hugs? <laughs> Is it the pillar of warm hugs? <laughs> Thanks, Ola. I feel a lot better now. I still feel awful, but I appreciate the thought. <laughs> I feel a lot better now. Yep, warm hugs are the best. Wait a second. The orb started to glow when you hugged me. Merlin said he didn't know what virtue powered the pillar in the frosted heights, but now I know. It must be <laughs> warm hugs. That's what I thought, Olaf. Uh, close, but not exactly. It's love, Olaf. A simple act of love fix the orb. Oh. oh, then I guess I did know how to fix the orb after all. Oh. Does this mean we save the day? Almost, but not quite. I still need to put this orb back in the pillar. Let's go. <laughs> the pillar of love. All right, Olaf, let's go put the orb back in the pillar. I know where it is this time. <laughs> oh. Nope. Just me again. Bye bye, Blizzard. You were fun. It was fun while it lasted. Oh, but it's so pretty. I haven't seen my game this clear in a while. <laughs> Talk to Olaf. Oh, good, you're here. <laughs> Let's do this way. Wow, Mel, you found my missing pieces. And stop the blizzard. You're very talented. There are still a lot of questions left, though. Like, what was the deal with that secret chamber? What was the forgotten doing in here? In there. Don't worry, Mel. I know you'll figure it out. You're practically the official village figure-outer. And I'll be here if you need any warm hugs or words of sage wisdom from a snowman wise beyond his years. <laughs> but for now, I'm going to go see what's changed in the village while I was winning at hide-and-seek. I think you're going to love it, Olaf. There are so many new fun facts to learn. There are lots of new villagers to befriend. There are lots of critters to play games with. Uh, let's go with fun facts. Ooh, I haven't learned a new fact in so long. Yay! 
Thank you for finding me, Mel. You're the best seeker a hider could have. Hmm. Oh, and one more thing. <laughs> Tag, you're it. <laughs> Very cute. Oh my gosh, he has a little snow buddy. <gasps> I want that. What is this one? Interesting. Oh, and the flurry cloud. Wow, Olaf has good ones. Oh, a snow globe. Yeah, Olaf has good good prizes. Um I haven't done a digging companion in a long time. I always go for gardening or fishing or mining. Really, I choose these based off what I want that character to follow me around follow me around doing. Like if I want him to follow me around the valley a lot, I choose like a mining or like a fishing. Mm. But I don't have a digging partner really, but I have so many gems from digging. I guess I'll keep going mining. Yay! We completed the Great Blizzard. Oh, hi! Hello, Mel. I was just gonna come find you. I'm very happy to be back in the village. Well, you haven't gone back yet. But oddly, it doesn't feel right. Oh, he has a new prompt. Uh, I'll wait on that. Hands down, this is the best day of my life. <laughs> All right, let's see if he'll actually come out now. Uh, Olaf? 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 Oh, he's there. Oh, he's in the restaurant too. Olaf, you left the snow snow biome so quickly. I thought you would stay there, like, most of the time. <gasps> what do you want? Tasty veggies, really? Alright, well... <laughs> interesting. I guess, uh, he probably can't taste the food anyways. <laughs> Alright, well, now our blizzard is gone from our valley, finally. And, uh... Things are looking clearer again. Because I had that fog on my valley for a long time. <laughs> yeah, the game hasn't been this crisp for me in a while. <laughs> Alright, I guess next time we'll bring Mirabel and her casita to the valley. I was thinking I would put them in the uh, forest biome. Because I usually put people in my meadow, but... I feel like, for some reason, I feel like Gasita would be nice in the forest. But we'll see. We'll see. I'll have to, I'll decide when I see the house. Alright. See you next time. Sorry for my terrible Olaf voice. I don't, I don't, I think Olaf's just another character that I'm just not going to be able to do the voice for. He is such a unique voice and is, uh, pitch? I don't, I don't know about vocals. He, his voice just like, he has a range of sounds that he does that I'm just I'm just not gonna be able to do it <laughs> but thank you for watching bye bye